Aloha, I'm Felicia Miller Johnson, and I conduct work life video interviews with career professionals that become an all intuitive conversation. Aloha and welcome to another episode of All Intuitive Conversation. This evening, I have the pleasure of connecting for the first time with Damien. So let's add him to the screen. Aloha, Damien. Aloha. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing fabulously. It's nice and in the morning here. The sun is shining. Um, so I have no complaints. But as my okay. grandma said, don't complain. No one's <laughs> <laughs> Interesting philosophy. I, I, I've heard that many times. So I've already noted an accent and you said here morning. Mm -hmm. So where are you? I'm in Melbourne, Australia. Melbourne, Australia. I'm down okay. on the peninsula at the moment. I'm, as you can see, I've got some beach theme behind me. I'm, near, I'm in the beach house. I'm 10 minutes walk on the beach. I'm in a very, very relaxed environment. Um, but I did, I, I did thought it'd be nice to present to my, to your audience and, and, and <laughs> first up a I was, I, I'm thinking, I'm like, are you the first person that maybe has worn a full suit and tie? I think you may it's have a three, that. It's a three piece. I, it's a uh, three -piece. Damien, a three piece. I am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and in the morning. Awesome. Okay. So Whoa, it's interesting. Go ahead. It's, yeah, but it's interesting because I I always find something to connect with my guests. And today I did yeah. a candle and I was led mm -hmm. to do my tropical Mai Tai kind of yeah. um, candle. So when I was like, hmm, okay, what's the, the vibe here? So when you said <laughs> like the beach and all that, and I was like, yep, that's. There you go. Although it is winter here at the moment and it's not quite that tropical vibe, but it's 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 got the vibe of the beach and the waves and that that relaxing, you know, that, that, that just, you know, the calm that you need to have in our life that we often don't do, that we need to take that balance. We still have that. It's a nice walk from my backyard straight through the forest into the beach. So I get both. <laughs> well, the fact that you said beach and you have it on the wall was connecting with you, but what also already fell out on the card, um, Damien, yeah. was the hermit. And oh. the concept of the hermit is like seclusion. You go off and you kind of meditate. Mm -hmm. And it literally says on this card, time spent in peaceful meditation and meaningful solitude. Shine yeah. your light as an example to others. Seek out or become a spiritual mentor or self-discovery. So already sensing this like you taking the time to go out in and enjoy nature tell me a little bit more about your experience in doing it like why is that so important to you yeah the hermit card's interesting that that came up because mm -hmm. as much as I'm very much out there I mm -hmm. go out and visit a lot of people and I spend a lot of time with people and I talk with a lot of people. I listen a lot. Mm -hmm. I got told yesterday you're a very, very good listener. And, and on shows you probably wouldn't know it because I'm there to talk. Mm -hmm. But normally I'm listening. And one of my favorite pastimes here, down here at the beach house, I have a very large lawn. And I got rid of the gardener, got myself a self-propelled electric lawnmower. And I go out and do what I call is gumping. I go up and down like Forrest Gump, up and down the lawn by myself in my little hermit environment. So I have my, and sometimes I put earphones in because there's a pathway that goes down the side of my property uh -huh. people walk through to the beach because I said I've got a forest behind me and you know, there's a path through to the beach. And sometimes I'll put the headphones in. I won't be listening to anything, but it's just so people don't disturb me because people often wave and say, g'day, but I can, I can be my hermit and have that solitude, which I find is really important for that for me anyway, for getting that balance in life, just having that time to reflect, to think through my, who I am, what I've done, what I can learn from today. My Part of my mission statement is to learn something daily uh, so that I can overachieve. And mm. so every day it's about finding that space to really think about who am I, what have I learned today, how can I be different? Because if you want to make a difference in the world and you're not doing that, then the difference you need to make is in yourself so that then you can do something different. As Einstein said, 
doing the same thing over and over again, expecting it's a different result. It's crazy. <laughs> exactly. And that's what I like, that solitude, that hermit time to really, to, to honestly reflect. And that's one of my core values in my mission statement, honesty, excellence, and understanding. Um, and the biggest thing I find, and I know when I was younger, was being honest with myself. Mm. Am I really being, you know, saying what I'm, uh, am I really being who I say I am? And mm-hmm. that reflection time, that hermit time uh, is really, really important to me. Well, like I said, it, it's still on <laughs> me. And it literally says, <laughs> the basically, all you describe is self-discovery. And I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. So with that, then tell me, how would you describe Damien? Oh, good question. Yeah. Um, deep caring soul at my heart uh and i it's one of those things i think i work a lot with uh, boys and men um Mm -hmm. and sorry ladies and men um and one of the things i've noticed in those conversations that we have is that men do actually have this very deep connection and i know i do uh, but I, I'm not often one to talk about it. As we know, stereotypically, girls like to talk, they'll get around and, and do that. Myself and my friends, we, we really care about things. Like, for example, my dad and I, we don't talk very often, but when we do talk, there's a lot of depth to it. And we will we'll share what we need to share to move forward. Mm-hmm. But that, even though on the surface, when you look at it, you go, oh, you know, it doesn't really seem to... Um, be have that depth there but it it is there and that's where from if you were to look at who i am it's this very i care a lot about things i care a lot about the environment i care a lot about how people interact i'm uh, one of my business partners jenny we have a program that we work with corporates uh, Mm -hmm. that we call we leadership and it's about combining the feminine and masculine traits to actually become more yeah and i was lucky because i grew up with my mum I want to grow up. Don't you love it when you get to the age and you, and you quote your parents? And, and yes. You they were like, I was waiting for this moment. <laughs> <laughs> but my mom said when I was growing up, she said, and especially for me, I had a sister who was a year younger. And there was a time where she was a little bit taller because girls mature. And I was really upset that she was a little bit taller than me. But now she's a little short and, and um, that's okay. <laughs> yes. And my mom said, she said, be careful when you're playing with your sister. You're much stronger. You're a boy. You're stronger. Just your normal Mm -hmm. play could hurt her. So Mm -hmm. have that respect. So I had that initial respect of there is a strength differential. But she also said, she said, men and women are different. Both have strengths. When you embrace Mm -hmm. both and bring them together, you become so much more. And that's what we do with We Leadership. It's we, the best negotiators in the world, for example, have a program called Negotiation Magic. Mm -hmm. The best negotiators in the world operate from a feminine and masculine um from a feminine masculine traits example being males are generally known as being more assertive more you know stubborn (laughs) we we go through it and Mm -hmm. we don't ask for instructions for example (laughs) we're we're more stubborn Mm -hmm. and that assertiveness is important in negotiation because you need to be clear on where you're going and stay fixed on where you're going Um, Mm -hmm. otherwise someone can take you off the path the other trait in that that works really well is the feminine trait of empathy being able to understand being able to listen to what the other side needs so that you can then yes you you stay to your path but you go well does how does my path best fit what they need and when you combine those both if you only have one or the other it doesn't work so well but if you have both and combine them together you get tremendous outcomes um, and that's what Jenny and I work on with We Leadership is showing how to embrace both talents, how how both parties can actually become more by by learning both sides. Yes, Damien. So the cars that already came out, they were connected so much with what your line was. This was this female <clears throat> that mm-hmm. was sitting in the the um, the yeah. wheelchair, um, which some people will think is meaning there's something weaker or um, less than. And the mm. card that stood out, what it says on here, it says, the good you do comes back to you. And mm. when you were talking about how you connect and align and helping other individuals, already sensing that word is like that good is going to come back to you. 
But then when you were talking about those individuals of when you were saying, you know, like the males and you're having those conversations, the trigger statement that came out, it talks about the theme is restore. Mm. So it's like you're helping to restore that balance between the the masculine and the feminine. And the trigger is I'm broken. However, Mm. the true statement says I'm illuminated. It says, as you release your attachment to high and low, you find peace and balance. Mm. Honor the cycles of your body and energy now. And then when you were talking about the lesson that you have from your mom, it was very much connected to your name. So one of the questions I often ask my guests is, Damien, do you know the meaning of your name? I have looked it up. I don't remember it off the top of my head, but I have looked it up in the past. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so in the past, to remind you, Damien means to yes. tame and yes, subdue. Right. And yeah. so it was just interesting that when you were talking about how your mom was saying about, you know, the masculine and the strength and that being careful as you connect with um, your sister that mm. you can unintentionally maybe, you know, Hurt her yeah. or something like that, but not demeaning her in sense of saying that she's less than or or weak, which is what correct. She wasn't taking away her strength. It was just an mm. observation of you may unintentionally hurt her. So it was like the whole tame and and sub subdue. Yeah, but I'm going to take it to the other side. Yeah, and ask you the question that's coming in. What does Damien? do aggressively oh yeah i'm i can be very fixated my dad says i'm like my grandfather who was a very 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 understanding man from my what i understand i I knew him he died when i was 18 so i didn't um i got to know him not too well as well because he didn't speak english i'm i'm actually my background is Polish, Russian, and Ukraine, com- a combination of those three, mostly mm-hmm. Polish. Um, so, and he only spoke Polish and, and I didn't. So, But we, we still connected. Um, but my dad always said that my, my grandfather was, he would go out of his way so far and bend so far to help people until you crossed a line. Hmm. And if you abused that situation, um, then all hell broke loose. Um, and from that perspective, that's kind of my dad says I'm like that. And, and I will go to the ends of the earth, even for strangers. When I was um, I was in Perth many, many years ago, I was I didn't have a job. I didn't have any money in my bank account. I had mm-hmm. no change in my pocket. I had a twenty dollar note and I was walking through the average in the, um, the mall and an Aboriginal man came up to me and asked me if there's some change. And honestly, I didn't have any. <laughs> the story yeah. you're talking about, you notice that's what the, the, they're giving her, right? Yeah. It's change. But that's, okay, go. keep going. Well, so mm-hmm. I didn't have any change. I only had this twenty dollar note. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was what I had. I didn't have a job. I didn't have any yeah. other money in my bank account. I, and I, for whatever reason, I pulled that money out of my pocket, that note. Mm-hmm. I gave it to him. He looked at it, actually. He turned it over. I think he wasn't sure if it was real or <laughs> like, not. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then his face lit up. It was, like, amazing. His face lit up, and he started dancing. He jumped on top of a garbage bin, started dancing, went over somewhere else, started dancing, then went over to what I'm assuming was his, his partner, his wife, and was showing her the note and dancing around. And I just stood there in awe watching this guy. Yeah. And it was absolutely amazing. And... The next day in the morning, I got a call and said, look, we've got um, a job that we need someone to fill straight away. We're interviewing a bunch of people. Can you come in? So I went in and I got the job. I don't know that it's connected, but it happened. I so got to chill because I didn't read the rest of that card. So the first part of that card talked about the good that you give, Hmm. the good comes back to you. And yeah. the rest of it says an unexpected inflow of abundance. Borrow wisely or paying off yeah. a debt, sharing your wealth with others less fortunate. Mm. So it's and like that's... you. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I've, I've done. And, and it's again, quoting my mom. She said, don't give because you expect something in return. Give because mm. you want to. Mm-hmm. And that's always been my philosophy. It's It's not. It's always been about helping other people I have within my organization, mm-hmm. um, the consulting organization that I have. Mm-hmm. Uh, I always have clients on there that I've just randomly come across 
Um, there's a young guy that I'm helping at the moment. He has a business. He's been working in it for a couple of years. We, yeah. we met through another friend and I'm providing him with advice and, and helping guide his business. I'm not charging him for that. I'm just spending mm. that time because I think it's giving is the way that you actually feel the best. It's better than, and I, when I was younger, I used to drink a lot. I never was into hard drugs or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, but the giving vibe, the giving high, as we call it, is so much more. And not only that, me telling that story about that Aboriginal, that was 30 years ago. I still get a high. You still I, get a high, yes. Exactly. <laughs> and there's no downer. You don't have the downer afterwards. Uh -uh. So this, yeah, this ability to, when you have that, in your nature to just want to help people. When you see people and you go, why is their life going so well? You know, there, there's a reason for that. It's just in that <laughs> character that when you help people, it does come back like your card's saying. It comes back in. And in, not only that, it comes back with interest. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it doesn't come from where you're expecting it from. But if you are expecting it, it doesn't come. But if you just go about your day, all of a sudden you go, wow, where did that come from? And it's like. Yeah, it's a different philosophy. It works really well. <laughs> well, so um, tell it because the other energetic energy, when you were talking about the like giving and giving back to you, and it's like the theme came up was discern. Trigger mm -hmm. statement says, it's not my fault. True okay. statement, I take full responsibility. Mm -hmm. And it says, shift into your body and listen. Release the emotions you have been storing and move forward. And so it's like so many times of just individuals not wanting to take responsibility for their right. life, right? The, the as we talked about one show, talking about like the shadow and the dark and all those different things, because we got there on their story, we were talking about, well, what did you do that's, you know, aggressively? But it's like you take responsibility for your life and how you are impacting mm -hmm like others and mm. so then the next thing was led to was like okay well what is um Daniel uh Damien exuding like what is that energy <laughs> you came up with a commander Ashtar and he is like fully suited out in blue <laughs> just like you and I was like okay how appropriate and it mm. says on here call to action mm. Take charge, lead by example, walk your talk. And so yes. when you started, even your conversation, you were talking about how you like to go on the walks and you meditate and doing those different things and how you're living this life of helping individuals like you're walking that mm. talk. And so it was led to, who is this? What is the extended message? So I'm going to yeah. read this for you. It says, you're receiving a call to action and being asked to step up and create the change you want to see in the world. Divine mm -hmm. inspiration is all around you. And Ashtar and his legion of cosmic angels are standing by to offer you loving support. Know that you are being encouraged to be honest, assertive, mm -hmm. and true in a loving way. You may feel your ego trying to hold you back, but know that when you take the first step, the next one will soon follow. Take some time to connect with your universe by looking up at the stars, knowing that there are loving beings of light gazing down on you. You mm. are not alone. I love that when you say loving beings of light. And and for, that's one of the things that I spend a lot of time with people. There's a number of things to unpack from what you just said there. Mm. Um, but that loving being of light that we talk about, that you talked about was is really important, I think, for for people to understand the difference between who you are and your behaviors, mm. um, who you are, you, you are amazing just because you are here. And if you understand that, if you truly embrace that as part of your unconscious thinking and accept that you are amazing, yes. um, it changes your life and then recognize that your behaviors are not who you are. I had an experience many years ago where I was helping a friend's wedding mm. and there was a spot out the front for the bridal car to pull up. Now, it wasn't marked. And someone saw that and went, oh, park right out front of the church. And they've parked there. Oh, my Not goodness. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 What can you say? You've got right out from the church. I'll park there. So, and I've seen that. And I've stormed over. And I've got, you know, you mentioned about, you know, the, um, the aggressive side. Much younger, <laughs> I was certainly. I said, what the hell are you parking there for? Where's the car going to park? They went, no. 
Um, and he's there. The guy was there with his girlfriend or wife, and I'm very embarrassed, of course. Uh -huh. uh, and that you now, when I look at that, that I could be beating myself up over that and going, "That's horrible behavior." Um, well, mm -hmm. I'm a horrible person, I should say. Mm -hmm. And but I didn't. Uh, I was okay. I'm actually I'm here looking after the bride. When I thought back and reflected on it, it's like, well, that behavior is probably not the best way to deal with this. It's a long <laughs> way from the best way of dealing with the situation. But that's not me. Mm. That's just a behavior that I knew how to do in that moment. And obviously since then I've learned to deal with things differently. Yeah. And that's where you come back to that first point that you talked about responsibility. And Share.Care is the foundation that I created. Um, yes. Share is, is S-H-A-I-R, Strong, Healthy and Inspiring relations, uh, Relationships. It's a mm -hmm. global community sharing experience, strength and hope to create strong, healthy, inspiring relationships. And that's the website, Share.Care. And mm. the first, we have 10 principles in there, but they're not really in any order. They're not numbered. But the one on the top mm -hmm. is personal responsibility. And you're, you're so right. So often people, we often look outside and go, you know, why is that? Why? And, and look for external reasons to justify. I mean, take why. full responsibility. Hmm. Yeah. It's and that's what hmm. in that card came up. It, that is one of the key things. It's, hmm. And that's part of, from my perspective, it's um, to learn something daily so that I can overachieve. And that learn something daily is what can, how can I be better? Yes. And the first part of my mission statement is to enjoy life and share in the joy of others. Again, wanting to connect with other people and share in their experience, share mm. what they're going through. But that, that and that commander thing is, yeah, I walk into any room and I think I'm, I'm, I'm in charge. <laughs> this I is you. Into, this I, is you. I, I can walk into the room of the president of the United States and I'll think I'm Proteus. <laughs> well, that, I just said, that is your energy. That is your buddy. Um <clears throat> That's but the thing that goes energy. with that, and this is where I love um, the part of that, and I'm gonna, I love pop culture references. I'm going to quote Spider-Man here, with great power comes great responsibility. Mm -hmm. That is the role, and I, I see that as um, any leader's role is it's not for you to put yourself above everybody else. You mm -hmm. might be have a lot of skill and talent. Your role is to help bring up other people. And, mm. and that's how everywhere I go is my, um, I went and I was a, a friend invited me to a, a, a networking event. I don't often go to those, but mm -hmm. they wanted me to come so that I'll, I'll get up at five o'clock in the morning to go <laughs> to a networking event. Uh -huh. wow. But then when I got there and it was my turn to speak because guests have to introduce me, yourself, I, I gave a few wisdoms and my friend said to me, she said, oh, I love that you did that. You took charge and, and actually helped other people. Um, Call to action. <laughs> Take charge. Lead by example. Walk your talk. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, and, and that's a wonderful, I think, again, coming back to that giving component, when we give, the research shows that you produce the most amount of dopamine out of any action you can do, dopamine mm -hmm. and serotonin. So if you want to feel good, you do. And, and I love um, pop culture references, as I said, and, and I think back to the first animated feature-length movie, Snow White. They didn't know why this happened back then because that mm -hmm. was in the 1930s. But when Snow White's cleaning the house with the animals, they're singing Whistle While You Work. Mm -hmm. and and coming back to um exactly yeah <laughs> and when you see you see how you automatically feel better and it was the same Connect. in mary poppins mary mm -hmm. poppins said in every job that can be done there's an element of fun find the fun mm -hmm. and the jobs are game mm -hmm. and how often do we do that i remember um long time ago i was working doing some uh flipping between different jobs and and just doing some temp work and one of the the jobs was for an it company where they had a data dump from one of their databases and it went into a spreadsheet but the columns didn't align so all the the rows didn't align properly with the columns uh -huh. and there was tens of thousands of rows that hadn't aligned so we had to go through and manually sort this so move everything across mm -hmm. because it just, that was the only way to do it mm -hmm. mind-numbingly boring if you wanted it to be but i treated it as a game i thought oh, how can i do this and, and how can i sort things and, and do this in a way that and it became fun and then people coming to me going how are you doing that and it became <laughs> a whole exciting mm -hmm. thing so it could have been really really boring and not mind-numbing but i approached it as a game and when mm. you gamify things they become fun so and that's where you you're again your brain is producing dopamine and serotonin when you tap into that we call it peak performance 
Yeah. And it's the same as if you sit up straight, um, you have a lot more energy than if you're slouching down like this. Yes. It's, it, yeah. And it's so when you understand that mind body mastery, you go, okay, if you're feeling down, and I do this all the time, I might be having something where I and I'll feel that energy going, oh, I'm starting to, and then all of a sudden I'll just stand up. But I do it unconsciously because I've trained myself to exactly. do that. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. so, and that's where I was saying from that perspective of, of wanting to help people if you're if you do that and you get that giving sense because that automatically makes you sit up i remember when i was Mm. again younger um, i'm older than i look i was i was sitting in my car with my tape deck so back in tape deck days Mm -hmm. (laughs) and i was i was single i was listening to a song i can't remember what the song was but it was the lyrics were something along the lines of why won't anybody love me and I'm playing the song, crying my eyes out, <laughs> Rev- rewinding the song, playing it again, <laughs> feeling so far, sorry for why won't anybody love me? It's all about mm. me. Two weeks later, I went and helped at a charity event. They had this massive breakfast to, to feed people that were homeless, a big tent in the park. I helped out and I was helping someone else. I felt tremendous again because it took it away from me to how can I help other people and mm. And that's how I've seen that, whether it's in your personal life, your business life, when you shift that focus, if you're in business and you're going, how can I help the client? Mm-hmm. That Not only do you feel better, but you actually find ways of adding more value to the client and your business flourishes. Again, giving results in things coming back to you. Indeed. It's just a wonderful way to operate. <laughs> Well, Davian, you are doing fabulous things. So if individuals want to connect with you, give us that website again that we can connect and find you. The easiest way to find me is you put my name, Damien Andrews, in, and even if you spell it with an E in, um, I'm pretty much every link on the first page and, and probably others, but who goes beyond the first page anyway? Uh, <laughs> There is someone that pops up that's a serial killer with the same name. That's not me. But, you know, (laughs) to add a bit of excitement and drama to the story. (laughs) Yeah, that's a different Damien. That's a different Damien. (laughs) So, but, yeah, so you put my name into a search and you'll find me or it's DamienAndrews.com or find me at Damien Andrews on LinkedIn. Um, You know, there there are the key ways. Or put share.care into your browser's um, address file. You'll find me through the share.care podcast. Um, There's... Or uh, nearly 200 episodes there of, of communication and sharing the love and excitement and business knowledge with people. And I also have a, a growing revenue and profit podcast, which is all about business as well. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming and sharing your energy with us. I do hope you were encouraged today as well to continue to live smart and ascend to new levels of success. Thank you for those that have watched this conversation between Damien and I. And if you're sitting there thinking like, hmm, I would love to have an all intuitive conversation as well. Reach out to me on LinkedIn, send me a message or you can also visit my website, All Intuitive Conversation, for more details. And until we meet again, this has been an All Intuitive Conversation.